Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at problem 15 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric fields. Now we have this system, right? And we can see for this square, there are four charges placed at the corner of this square. And the charges for each particle is a constant as Q. So it's 4.15 mag minimum. Coulombs. The distance between two charges is given as d. Now we need to find the magnitude of the force on each charge. So because we know q1, q2, q3, q4 are um, symmetry, so it looks like we just need to find work on one particle, then we solve all of them, right? So now we look at the particle 4. So for particle 4, we can see there is an electric force between 1 and 2, charge 1 and charge 2, repulsive force, right? Yes, so it's pointing to the x component. So we can write the magnitude electric force F41 as Q, as a key, Q squared, D squared, agree? And this force is just pointing to the x component. And at the y component, it's 0. So we can write it as x component, it is key, q square, d square, y component, zero. Similarly, we can look at the uh, electric force between charge 2 and charge 4. So charge 2 and charge 4, we connect it. We can see it is a key times q square, the distance between q2 and q4 is 2 times d square, right? You can see this is a triangle. This side length is D. This side length is another D. So this side length is a squared D. And the squared, squared 2 D squared 2 D squared, it becomes 2 D squared, right? Yes. Now we can project the F42 on X component. So this is a 45 degree. 45 degrees, so cosine times cosine, 45, get the answer there. Similarly, we can project the F42 on Y component, so we times the sine, 45 degrees, so it equals to this one. So their equal sign is missed. I write it there. And similarly, we look at the force F4, sorry, this comes from the repulsive force Q3 and Q4, right? So the magnitude force F43 as Q, Q squared, D squared. At X component, it is zero. At the Y component, it is Q, Q squared over D squared. Now you can see, we can find the net force on the particle 4 in x component, y component. So at x component, it becomes F41x plus F42x plus F43x. Sorry, 43x. This is F43y. So now you use uh, this one plus this one. Answer is there. And also F4y. F4y is F41y plus F42y plus F43y. You add 0 plus this term plus this term, the answer is 0. Now, we can find the magnitude force for the F4, right? F4 just uses the x component squared plus y component squared squared, and then we get the answer there. And it also the angle. You can use arctangent f4y over f4x. Answer is zero. Thank you.